Welcome back, and thank you for tuning in. This is Eddie Tainment, and my name's Eddie. With all the new announcements and plenty still to come, it's time for another HHN speculation video. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is a series where we review news and, as the name suggests, speculate on future announcements. Make sure to go back and view past episodes as well as other content on the channel for your enjoyment. Enough of that, let's get into the speculation. Today's speculation will start with a look at a competitor event and their impact on Halloween Horror Nights. Then we'll take a shot at speculating a few of the remaining six mazes for this year's event. Now to start us off, let's talk about a little something that has most likely eliminated an IP that was talked about earlier this year. Warner Brothers has announced their Halloween Horror Nights style event, Horror Made Here, a Festival of Fright. This event will be hosted by its franchise, Pennywise, in addition to Gotham's The Joker. With all the success of the IT remake, there was a lot of speculation around its appearance at HHN this year. Warner Brother has all but killed those hopes, but with this being a West Coast event, I think Orlando still has the faintest chance of still seeing Pennywise. I could only imagine that if Universal is willing to put up the money, Warner Brothers will not hesitate to make profit on both the East and West Coast from this franchise. Now, that isn't where this event's impact on Halloween Horror Nights ends. This event being new, no doubt is not an apples to apples competitor to Halloween Horror Nights. But with Warner Brothers vast pool of horror franchises, it does present fans with a second viable option for a great event with great IP mazes. Original concept mazes are great, but a lot of fans live for that chance to walk through their favorite horror franchise and experience those scenes firsthand. How does that impact Halloween Horror Nights? Well, if Warner Brothers continues to see success from this event, then it may be the push that Universal Studios needs to step up their game. Win-win for us the fans, we get a new great event, and Halloween Horror Nights is forced to step up their game to remain that dominant Halloween event that we know and love. Only time will tell its true impact, but the Warner Brothers event this year does seem like a must if I lived on the West Coast. Now on to our second piece of speculation, which is we still have six mazes left unannounced. The list of speculated mazes still has plenty to offer, like The Thing, It, Maybe, The Conjuring, A Quiet Place, but two current movies stick out to me the most. Both of which have a movie releasing this year in perfect time for the event. First, we have my personal favorite that hits theaters this October 19th, and that is Halloween. The trailer has received great reviews, and it's honestly the first time that I've had goosebumps for a movie in a while. With past successful partnerships with Blumhouse, Halloween has a great chance of returning this year to Halloween Horror Nights. Next, we have another movie with an ideal release date of September 7th, and that is The Nun. The Nun is another one of those movies releasing this year and has a trailer that has also received great reviews. I reviewed it myself, which I will link above, and with the success of The Conjuring Universe, I can't wait to see this movie. One issue though, this is the product of a competitor event. That's right, you guessed it. Warner Brothers is the studio behind the release of the movie The Nun, as well as The Conjuring Universe. This brings us back to the original speculation around the impact of this new event on Halloween Horror Nights. Only time will tell. We may have IPs that are just destined to never see the dark of night at Halloween Horror Nights. But one thing is sure, we still have six mazes to be announced and the event is shaping out to be a great one. That's it for this episode. Let's get the conversation going in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the Warner Brothers event? And do you think it's gonna impact Halloween Horror Nights? What mazes are you still waiting for? And do you think Halloween or The Nun will make it? And finally, subscribe to the channel to show your support. Follow me at my social medias linked in the description below for any updates. Click that bell icon to stay tuned for any additional content I release. And as always, peeps, ask yourself, have you been Eddie Tang?